Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know. Now you know. Still don't have a voice, but happy World's Day 1. It is currently 7 a.m. Just rolled out of bed. We did, in fact, do our braids last night. And we uh, slept with them covered. And now we don't have to touch them up this morning, thank goodness, because that would have added another, like, hour of getting ready. So, got the uniform top on. We're starting day one off in white like we did at NCA. And the terrible, terrible, terrible mesh is already on. Luckily, we could be early so I could take it off and be done with that. But I am about to start getting my makeup done. I have coffee ready to go. Feel feel good. Like I feel awake. I just it's just early. Makeup is basically done, and for once, it doesn't look crazy without eyelashes yet. This camera does not focus at all. I really need a new one. But it is like eight o'clock now. We are good there. We're gonna start with curling the hair, and then it's just lashes, lipstick, the blue in the inner corner, and we're basically good to go. I do have to put the rest of my uniform on still because didn't do that yet. But so far, so good. Let's go do the hair. And. We are ready! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Mesh! <laughs> I'm gonna keep complaining about it, so I'm so sorry if you're over it, but this is I'm crazy! I'm so glad that I am 24 years old. And my and belly button in mesh. must be covered. 13 year olds though? No. Yay, we're they can ready. leave their belly by now. Grab so, your Dr. Pepper. I, I got it, I got it. We're okay, good to go. Come here, come here. Got come the here. Dr. Pepper. We're taking a mirror pick, BRB. It is a nice 90, I don't know what that says, 909. Um, and we gotta walk all the way to the front of the resort for the bus, which is a long walk. So we're about to go. Today's agenda is go to watch LJ first. They're in first right now. They did so good yesterday. Today's their finals. The fact that they're done with their weekend completely, awards and everything, before we even compete once this weekend is crazy. But we're gonna go early to cheer them on. And then we have outside warm up and then our actual warm up and then we compete at 12 which is like pretty good time i'm awake right now i feel good and then like by the time 12:05 hits we're done for the day that's great good morning good morning sunshine good morning beautiful how are we feeling? Are we excited? Are we awake? Oh my god, show me the makeup. Wait, 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 get closer, get closer. Come here, come here. Get closer, we need a close up. So cute, so cute. Hello, hello. Good morning, We're in. We're running. We're legit running to LJ right now. The team. Well, not the team before them, but like no, the medium. Gonna We're gonna make the it. The medium team before them great. is on right now. Ah, my legs hurt already. <laughs> we are running. We we, we are, are running. running. Oh my god. I'm of course so they're in the field house too. Okay, my legs hurt. I'm putting this away. Bye. We made it. We made, Bye, we it. made it. We got back front row seats. But it's they're gonna be coming good. Out. It's they're gonna be great. We're gonna turn them on. We have one team to breathe. Oh no, it's them. Woo. He's right there. No, they're like, Wait, did they not just it's say? Them. I think. We don't have any teams to breathe. They're about yeah, to come on. Let's go. Right now. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got it. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go right now. Right? How do you feel? How do you feel? Very excited, very nervous, but we got it. You ready? I'm ready, I'm excited. Up, down, three and four.
long time, no talk. I have not touched this camera since we walked off the floor because maybe that would have been the end of the world's vlog and there wouldn't have been one. But you're seeing this, which means we made it to day two! Somehow, we're in first. God is good. I don't know how. God is great. But tomorrow's a new day. We are ready to go. So since the time we talked to you, we had... So we, okay. <laughs> so we had two stump falls and a bobble, and they tried to give us these most random points for like yeah, a legality and another fall that like, we're not there. Sense. Like they made them up. So our coaches waited an hour and a half to like contest scores and to talk to them, and they said it took less than a minute to even bring it up to them, and they were like, oh yeah, you're right. Like that didn't happen. Love that. Um, so we got those points back. And then we had to wait until now, which is, what time is it? How long have we waited? We, we competed at 12. We waited three, almost four hours. Four hours. Of our coaches fight. Results, yeah. Results Literally. just came out. We love you We're guys. in first by three points. Not that the point system or anything matters. All that matters is that we made it to day two. We get to sleep in a little bit because we're the last team in our division. And we get to go full out again. And we get one more shot. That's all I really care about is that we get one more chance to show the world the double O that I know that we are and that we've been at NCA and that we have been since NCA and today was just they were rushing us backstage we visualized before every team which part of me is like should we not visualize tomorrow yeah, because not. we didn't even get to our lead sign they're like you have to go line up you have to go yelling at us and we were like oh we don't have time so then we tried to like rush our handshakes and we were all just kind of flustered going on the mat so not that that's an excuse but i do think that definitely affected certain things but luckily tomorrow is a new day by the grace of God, we have another chance to show the world our routine. So luckily, you guys are still getting a world's vlog. Yes, man. Uh, for a second, you weren't. No, that we were kind of nervous. all nervous at one point, and I was like, I don't know if we should finish the vlog, but, right. but we're, we're, we're good. good. We're good. And we'll be so, back, baby. Now what's happening is we're about to go over early to have we're gonna have a little mini practice on the baseball field get all the jitters all the kinks out absolutely then we'll watch coed then we'll watch glock and we'll go from there um lj won also i got footage of them out of the gabby bolter i love gabby bolter yay you won they did so good they hit two days in a row it was beautiful we got to watch today we made it in luckily I'm inhaling perfume, so I'm gonna go drink water. We'll catch up to you when we get there, but thank God we have another day. What do we want? Magic! When do we want it? Now! Glock is next. I'm very excited to watch that. so funny how we can just pick up on like an eight count no matter who our team is. Top guns! Top guns! Top guns! All right, I'm putting my phone away. I'll vlog a little bit. That's it. That's basically what they wrote on the score sheet. They said, if you hit 
we'll get your like score will go up. Literally. Eight points. Because all of our difficulty scores are like up here, and then our stunt technique score, obviously because of the mistakes, just, just went down. Just from our stunt technique scores, we would we get hit, six points like, at no, least eight. higher. We would get eight. Yeah. And so, then that would be a 140. Yeah. Bare minimum. Like literally, that's like, it. Come on now. They said other little things, like they did make a suggestion to upgrade our basket section, but we don't really need it if our score is already that high and if it is going to make other people like nervous or uncomfortable we we want it's not worth it we're going to the field because they had the bright idea to wait until sun went down which thank goodness we did that because it was way hot earlier now we're in the shade so we're gonna get a few good reps in and then go to bed i need to eat too oh that would be fun we haven't barely done those that would be fun we did it one and i wasn't at that practice i wasn't at that practice Please get some rest. Nothing but positivity, okay? Nothing but good karma. Keep talking to each other, cheering each other on, okay? Be each other's biggest fans, okay? I love you. Ready? And line of proud and one, two, three. Go Jays! Blah, 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 boy. No. And we made it back to the hotel room. It is almost 9 o'clock. UFO goes at 9.05, so I'm going to get the live stream up to watch them, but... I think that is pretty much where tonight is going to end. Our practice was great. We just got so many good reps in just to like get all the kinks out to really just go out there tomorrow and hit this routine like we have done so many times. Like this team has been so consistent in the gym. I know today today was so hectic backstage, so I, I understand the jitters and everything. We got it out today. Luckily, we are blessed with another day, and I can't wait to make it our best one yet. Um, I look bald, so we're going to fix this tomorrow because these were like, I said too many down, so it was bothering me. So I'm gonna take my hair down, shower, not wash my hair, but I'm gonna make sure I leave only a little bit of wispies out this time so that they're not bothering me. I'm gonna rebraid my hair, I order food, and that's pretty much it. So that is tonight. I will pick this back up in the morning. We have to be up bright and early again. We meet at 9 a.m., so a little bit earlier tomorrow, but we should be good to go. I'm so excited to take them out one last time with this amazing team. I love them all so much, so. I will see you in the morning for the final day. Good morning. It is a nice 6.45 a.m. right now. And we are up, uniform is on, and we are getting ready for day two. We meet at nine, so the clock is ticking. It's time to get ready. Hair is done again. I did it last night, which is the best decision I ever did. And it is 8.32. We have 13 minutes to spare before we have to walk out the door. It is super sunny, and we are fully ready to go mesh and all um we meet the bus at nine so we it's a pretty far walk so we're leaving the room at like 8 45 and meeting everyone on the bus and then i think i'll like record a little bit today and then i think i'm gonna put my camera down until after we compete just to be focused in on the team and just really take in every last minute with them so that is the plan it's a great day to have a great day happy day two we are walking to the bus for our mile long morning jog, because it is a far walk. How are we feeling today? We're feeling great. This is our warm up. We're gonna pull out right after this. <laughs> yeah, we're all the way in building F, and the bus is all the way in building A. I don't even think it's at building A, it's even before that. Oh, it's like the very. What it, will he take us? No, I don't no. think we can take the bus, sir. When that car comes around the corner, we'll ask him. It worked! He said, it's going! Huh, that was so nice. That just saved us like 10 minutes of walking. We're on the bus eight minutes early. We are heading over on the bus. I'm going to put this away and I will see you when we step off the mat. So hopefully we have good news to share.
Classic, vintage, double O, I-5, international open, whatever you want to call it. Composure, what happened in NCAA day two, you didn't let it phase you. I love that. The, the Android, I wish we could do that every Android time. The plug yeah. from someone else's phone was plugged into the actual music. So it played, and then that's when they had to switch it to the iPhone. <laughs> the little yeah, soundtrack. I love that. Yeah. I literally but, turned but to I could see Rachel, I was like, you guys NCAA. calming right, yourselves literally. down, talking to each other from the front. And I knew that it was gonna happen. I was saying it when we were sitting down. I knew it was gonna happen. I almost feel like it makes you guys almost forget it what you're yeah. about to do. And it's like everybody yeah. breathes. So it almost like makes you really, really. I'm like, I'm higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does for sure. And so honestly, guys, I mean, you did it. There's literally, you, know, you there's did everything you accomplished. It's in the judges' hands at this point, but. You know, there has been no greater joy. I know some of us may be, they'll still be here, but you know, well, this may be on the sidelines instead of on here. But thank you, thank you all. Continue to share this message, continue to share the love, and keep, you know, sharing your experiences on this team because as I've shared, as he's shared, and eventually one day he will, yeah, there's nothing like being on that side of the fence. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like being an athlete on this team. It is one of the most humbling and amazing experiences I have been gratefully humbly accepted to do when I was younger. I did it in 2011 at Battle of the Big Top one day, remember? <laughs> okay. So we switched in and out. <laughs> so, awesome, awesome job, y'all. Enjoy this moment. Um, you guys, at the end of the day, we do this because we love cheerleading. Oh, for and sure. We do it for you guys. And we, I know we joke about we're like cheerleading, cheerleading, but you guys make it so easy just to love cheerleading. Okay? Every year, I feel like it just gets better and better. And I'm just so excited that you guys were able to do that because I know we wanted it so much, not only obvi oh. obviously for us, but we wanted it for you guys because you're the ones that put in all the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, so. That there couldn't have been a better performance. That was that was the performance. I want to give a shout out to our alternates all year. Yes. Even if you were on the mat at one point or not, you guys were awesome all year, and you deserve this just as much as any of us. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we always have alternates. I one always big family. Say, guys, thank you for making this weekend not about winning. Yes. I really, really appreciate it because we came here to do one job, and that job was not to win world. That job was coming to hit because a beautiful routine, and because we love cheerleading and, and we love so each other. Do. And that right there was love. That we did that routine for each other. Uh, I see you all grow into amazing <laughs> athletes, amazing people. Okay, let's continue on that. This trip is not over. Yeah, okay, not over. It is not Just over until we get back finished. to Miami. All I want to say is, oh, we talked already about all the chilly side of it. Whether this was your last performance as an athlete or on Top Gun Double O, whether you're 37 years old. With <laughs> Three kids, two kids are away, or your, this is your first year. I hope that you now can look back and connect the dots and realize why we said what we said back in June, in July, the things that we preached about all year long, the importance of those little things and how it, it makes the big things happen because it was, today's performance was a culmination of all of that coming together. So hopefully you will take that with you and you'll be like, hey, you know what, this situation that I'm in right now, I know how to deal with that. I know what it takes to get to what I want. I just do the same thing I did when I was on Double O. Let me see him, let me see him. Yeah. That's definitely the most important one. Official zero. We are, well first of all, we just witnessed large senior and back to back to back, senior elite, World Cup, and Orange just hit. So I'm very excited for that. That was good cheerleading. Orange was so good. Um, but now we're going to award. And then it's TGLC's turn. It's okay, take a deep breath. Just breathe. It's about to get even it's, better. It's going to get ready. super. You know why? Because you're about to medal at Worlds. You are three up. Congratulations. So, just so you know, as we do this, when we call your name, please make sure your entire team heads to the podium to collect your medals. All right, without further ado, your bronze. Medalist is going home with Inferno from Extreme Channel. The next team I will call out is 
is your world champion, okay? When we do that, enjoy, have fun, and can we get a round of applause for our top two teams? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The 2022 World Championship is going home with your Nations Cup winner as well, and that is Finally, for real this time. Last year we didn't have this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're back here. That's a good size. I don't. I didn't even think about what finger I'm getting it on. No idea. Ladies, please pen your pens. Grab one, go. I was not in the emotional state to end this video during actual World's Weekend. Am I still in the emotional state yet? Probably not because I did tear up editing this video up until this point, but we're gonna wrap up our final thoughts while making some HelloFresh for lunch. They are working with me on this video. We're making the Buffalo Spice Crispy Chicken Cutlets, which is one of our absolute favorites. And while we cook, we're gonna wrap up my thoughts and wrap up this video from Worlds. But HelloFresh is actually up to 72% cheaper than dining in at restaurants, but you still get the same amazing food quality that you would at a restaurant because their chefs diversify the menu every week and along with every season. So some examples of some spring recipes they have right now are sweet heat shrimp tempura bowls, garden spinach ricotta ravioli, and one pot creamy lemon dill chicken soup. And although it's technically off season for cheerleading, which lasts what, like about a week? Our schedules are always so busy. So with HelloFresh, it cuts down all the time spent going to a grocery store, meal planning. They just send everything right to your door. Everything is pre-portioned and all the recipes are like step-by-step -step with pictures. So it's the easiest thing to follow. And HelloFresh actually cuts down your food waste by about 25% compared to normal grocery store trips. So let's start cutting up some veggies and let's talk about worlds. Well, first of all, I guess it just wouldn't be double O if it wasn't a roller coaster weekend because the past like four years now, it has been a crazy weekend for double O. So it started off day one, obviously not our best, nowhere near our best. We didn't know and didn't think we were making day two. We were obviously trying to hold on to hope, but it got scary for a second. We really didn't know how it was gonna turn out and if we were even gonna have a shot at day two, which is why a lot of those clips are just nowhere to be found because I did not vlog again until we find out for sure because I didn't know if there was gonna be a world's vlog. Thought maybe that was gonna be it and it was gonna be over there. But luckily we made it to day two, somehow still in first, which I feel like let a lot of the jitters just like go away for everyone knowing that literally all we had to do was hit the next day and all the stress was off our shoulders. So as soon as we walked out on the floor and our music didn't start, which it did at NCA day two also, I knew we were good because our routine started like all in the same corner. So we were all super close to each other. And normally where I feel like that would be really stressful because like the music's not starting, everyone's panicking. It happened to us, like I said, NCA day two. And because we're all in the corner, we can hear each other. And we just like kept talking to each other, kept keeping each other calm. And I knew once that happened at day two that like we were for sure gonna hit because everyone just like took a deep breath and was ready for anything. Like we just knew, we knew what we had to do. And it allowed us to remain calm. So we obviously hit, had a beautiful ending to the season for double O. And I think it was, I mean, I don't think, it was Top Gun's most successful world's weekend ever. So just in the Miami gym, 
four, how many world seams do we even have? One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so four out of five world seams globed. We brought home three golds, and then Top Gun as a whole ended up bringing home four golds because Revelation also won, and it was just a super successful weekend. I cannot wait for this ring ceremony because I think um, Double LJ and Coet are all having one together because that's the first time that we've all won together. So it's going to be like a huge, huge, probably the best ring ceremony we've had, which I'm very excited about. I don't know what else to say because I'm sure everyone's waiting for the the answer of, am I cheering again? Um, but the answer still remains the same. I did not try out for a team. I'm just coaching right now. We're gonna take probably like a few months off the whole summer and then like really finalize my decision after that. I just, I want some time off. Double O summer practices anyway are very relaxed until we have choreography. So I do have time to completely like make up my mind. Currently, I mean, not that anything really happened, but I am enjoying the time off. I feel like I do need a little bit of a break and time to just like really get other things figured out. Still looking for a house, like all those things that I don't really want anything else taking up my time or getting in the way of as much as being an athlete would. Just live in life. When I have an answer, you guys will know. But as of right now, I am not. I did not try out, so. We shall see. I don't know. Nothing compares to the feeling of like being an athlete and performing and just... I don't know. I don't know what life is like without being a cheerleader because it's been in my entire life. So we're going to try to figure that out, see if I like it or not, and go from there. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. It was just such an amazing weekend. Um, I'm sad I missed the team already so much. But luckily, we do get a ring ceremony. So I'll be seeing everyone again. I feel like that is the video that's really going to be the sappy one to like close out this season and all the memories and everything. So stay tuned for that video. I did not mean to be waving that knife around but i'm gonna finish up cutting everything getting everything ready and then if i think of anything else we'll be back all right potatoes are mashed those are good to go the chicken and beans are about to be done in literally like a minute but while we wait for that we're gonna hook you up with a discount so make sure you go to hellofresh.com and use code gabby fuller 16 for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts again hellofresh.com gabby fuller 16 everything's gonna be on the screen and again link down below and Let's plate this food, do a taste test. I'm so hungry. And look how good this looks. So good. So I want to thank HelloFresh again for working me on this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the world's vlog. Don't worry, this is not going to be the end of the cheerleading videos, whether I'm just a coach. We keep saying that we want to stunt more now that I don't have practice. So lots of videos coming with stunting, everything. It's still going to be here. Don't worry. But hope you enjoyed this one. It was a fun one. It was a great weekend. So make sure you give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that. And I'll see you in the next video.